I've been gone for a while, but I am back. So, ha <laughs> ha. I, um, I just felt really weird coming back from a hiatus and then just pretending like nothing happened. I'm not one of those types of people who will just pretend like I'm not going through stuff. I, I don't exactly, you know, you stream as like a therapy session. I don't like that kind of stuff either. Um, but I do think it is important for me to be upfront and honest about how I've been feeling and what's going on. I'm trying my best this year to be more vocal about how I've been feeling and not worrying so much about like backlash or what people are going to say just because I'm expressing my thoughts and opinions. So yeah. I knew I was going to have to have this conversation with all of you at some points. I just wasn't exactly sure how to bring this up or when the best time. I will be continuing to make more content again, pure usual, but there is something I do want to talk to all of you about. Um, sure, some of you probably who are new are probably wondering why I went on a hiatus. Um, it wasn't, you know, super long compared to most people. I think most people usually take a couple of months off when they go on hiatus i took about two weeks off i thought that was like an appropriate time uh essentially i went on hiatus because i had to put my dog down um shortly after my birthday i didn't really post about it too much on youtube or like tiktok i felt kind of weird about making a video about it it was, it was kind of awkward i guess but i had to do that and it's was really difficult for me. So I took a couple of weeks off to kind of give myself some time to grieve. Basically, after Momo's passing, I've been having a really hard time coping and I haven't really been in the right mental space. Like, huh, man, whenever I would be upset, Momo would always come by my side and, you know, always try to cheer me up with her derpy little eyes. Like, she was super silly. She was a very silly, silly, silly dog. And I know Momo was a really big part of this community and with all of you. I mean, heck, she's part of my live 2D model, guys. Like, Momo was very important to me. And I know that she was really important to a lot of you, too. Really, Momo? Right in front of my salad? Hi, Momo. Hi, Momo. This was Momo when I first got her four years ago. She was, um, this was, she was like three months old in this photo. And yes, she was very tiny. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, <laughs> look at those little chompers. <laughs> she was so tiny. Like, it was so hard to potty train her to get her to stop biting. Like, she always had an attitude. <laughs> but it was okay. Because she was cute. Momo was adorable. Some of you have been in this community for a really long time, so you know this already. But some of you who are new, you may not know this, but Momo has always had health problems. Even at this stage where she was like this tiny, she was in the hospital for like a month because she had um, stomach issues. Like she was in the hospital ever since I kind of first got her and her health problems are very uh, expensive because you know, these vets, they cost a lot, a lot of money to just to see them. So yeah, she's always had kind of some health stuff, but I didn't care. And even though it may have kind of put me in a little bit of some uh, bad financial situations, I didn't care because she made me happy. I genuinely do not regret a single moment I spent with her. I loved her so much. I mean, just look at her. Look how cute she is. Of course, you know, if anyone has seen recent photos of her, she's not that small anymore. She's, oh God, she's so big. <laughs> Look how big she got to be. Okay, okay. <laughs> she didn't get that big. She got this big. She was such an interesting dog. Always sassy. Like, come on, how can you say no to this? How can you say no to that bean? She's adorable. <laughs> and then I have, let's see, I have... This one of her that I took during Halloween. She was the horse to a cowboy. Then her laying down with her little sweater. She really loved that sweater. I'm like, that Christmas sweater was her favorite thing. Momo was an amazing dog. And even though she didn't get to live a long life, she lived a good life. I really enjoyed the past four years I got to spend with her. <sighs> this was hard. Momo wasn't my first pet, like my first dog. But she definitely was very special. 
She helped me through a lot of hard times that I've had these past couple of uh, four years. I never had to put a dog down before. It was like really new to me and really weird. I'm not going to go like talk about the entire process of like what happened. But what I will say is that uh, apparently you can get your dog like cremated and stuff. And they do like these like little like cremation packages, I guess. Um, I got that and they also put her in like a in like this really nice box. It's like in some really nice wood. I can't I can't remember a lot of it. Like it was it was really difficult for me. But like I got Momo's ashes some like a couple of weeks ago. And I had got also gotten like flowers from Chewy because they found out uh about what happened with Momo. She had to be on a very special diet. And it was expensive. And well, I had this whole case of like liver dog food that is no longer going to get used I, I donated it back to the I donated it to the animal hospital I took Momo to because I felt like there might be other dogs who could really use that food and I got her ashes and stuff um a couple weeks ago and it was really nice the amount of like care and kindness that the hospital and Chewy and just the whole cremation service it was really thoughtful with the stuff that they've done i've never had to do this before i'm just kind of surprised how much love and care gets put into stuff like this for animals i mean they even sent me like a card too and um i got like this little frame of momo's nose print and her like animal fluff and there's like this really nice poem and it's called the rainbow bridge and I kind of wanted to read it for all of you because I thought like if you've ever lost like a pet, maybe like you'd be able to connect to it a little bit better because it um, it definitely helped me a lot. This poem is called The Rainbow Bridge and it goes like this. There is a bridge connecting heaven and earth. It's called the Rainbow Bridge because of its many colors. Just this side of the Rainbow Bridge, there is a land of meadows, hills, and valleys with lush green grass. When a beloved pet dies, the pet goes to this place. There is always food and water in warm spring weather. The old and frail animals are young again. Those who are maimed are whole made whole again. They play all day with each other. There is only one thing missing. They're, they're not there with their special person who loved them on earth. So each day they run and play until the day comes when, some, when one suddenly stops playing and looks up. The nose twitches. The ears are up, the eyes are staring, and this one suddenly runs from the group. You have been seen, and when you and your special friend meet, you take him or her in your arms and embrace. Your face is kissed again and again and again, and you look once more into the eyes of your trusting pet. Then you cross over the rainbow bridge together, never again to be separated. I thought that this poem was really sweet. One of the most difficult things about this is that I can't stop blaming myself for what happened. I wish that I made more money. Like, I wish I could have afforded all of, like, her medical bills. I wish I could have afforded her surgery. And I couldn't. But it said, like, in the guide that, you know, things like these happen. It's not good to blame yourself because... Even if I had gotten Momo the surgery, there's a good chance she wouldn't survive anyways. Like, her condition was hereditary. She was born with it. There's no way around it. Like, it's a gen it, it was in her DNA. So there was nothing that I could do. But I did everything I could for Momo. Yeah, I did do my best. I did do my best. I really did. You know, sometimes I still feel like I can feel her presence here in the dream realm and... I'm trying my best to move forward. I really am. She was the kindest, sweetest dog. And she's always going to have a special place in my heart. And there's no use, no, no use. There's no reason for me to not do the things that I enjoy doing over like guilt or shame. And that's why like I decided to come back from my hiatus after two weeks. You know, it's not like I'm completely over it. I'm clearly not. But I wanted to come back because I know she wouldn't want me to continue wallowing forever. So I am back. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to be honest about, like, 
where I am with all of that and how things have been going. And even though I'm still grieving mom was passing, I want you all to know that I'll be okay. I have gotten so much support from family, my friends, everyone here in this community. Like everyone just being so kind and supportive has really helped me. It really means a lot to me. Time heals all pain, right? Time is a funny thing here in the dream realm, but it does still exist here. I've been doing a lot of thinking these past couple of weeks and I'm just kind of ready at this point to move forward because I know that's what Momo would have wanted, you know?